Hey guys, it's Will, it's Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. Welcome back to the channel. Guess what? It's a pickups video. It's a Eureka Entertainment specific Blu-ray pickups video. So this is all the stuff I've gotten in from Eureka since the last time I did a pickups video. There's one thing in here I think I may have shown off before on the channel. I can't honestly remember, but I had it in this room um, because I reviewed it uh, a couple days ago. So I was like, oh, I'll just put that one in the pile as well. So um, first here we have the two Taoist tales. So this is from the Yun clan, right? So Yun Wuping and family, his brothers and stuff like that. Taoism drunkard and the young Taoism fighter. I've never seen either of these movies. Honestly, had never Never even heard of them until this was announced but I loved Miracle Fighters so 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 much that I'm really really excited to check these films out I also have to say I freaking love this artwork I think it's so cool um and then you get it's really bright in here right now I'm like filming right in the middle of the day so and I decided to open the light so that we could actually see or the the shade excuse me but that means the sun is saying I am in charge here and I shall do with you as I please. Um, and then let me pop out the disc here and you can see that there's, so they did do artwork for each film. And this is Darren Wheeling artwork, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I just, I, I really like, I like the colors. I like like the arrangement of the figures. I like the kind of like supernatural creepiness of it and all like the wildness going on. So I'm really excited. I loved Miracle Fighters, like I said. I'm excited to check these out. I'm not really familiar with either film. Okay, so this next one I'm insanely excited about. Maybe, let me look at the whole pile. This might be the one I'm most excited about. I'm not 100% sure. Um, Broken Oath. So that's Angela Mao. And um, I've never seen this film. A lot of people have told me they absolutely love it. It's one of their favorite Angela Mao films. The reason I'm really excited about this is, as you can see right here, a film by Zhong Changhua, who directed like legitimately three of my favorite like 1970s Hong Kong films, which are um, King Boxer, which is one of my like top three all time Shaw Brothers films. I freaking love that movie. He did The Double Crossers, which I just reviewed for this channel, which I thought was phenomenal and a really underrated and underappreciated and underseen film, which I highly recommend, especially if you like like heist type of films, like man on a mission, like thriller type of movies. Um, and then also The Skyhawk, which I thought was like a phenomenal old school martial arts movie. And one of the things I love the most about his style is he has this really unique narrative style that reminds me almost more of like novels or theater than it does films. Because he tends not to have a movie that is driven by the actions of one single character, but these very kind of well, like Byzantine stories where you have like five, seven, eight, nine, ten characters who are all pushing the plot in all these different directions. And it's a really innovative and interesting and complex narrative style. And the fact that he manages to fit it uh, into these films that are like 90, 100 minutes long, I think it's just so impressive. Um, so here's the back here. And uh, like I said, I really cannot wait to check this out. So if you saw my recent announcement video for that is fucking awesome. For uh, what's going to happen on the channel over the next couple months, I'm going to try to watch as many Hong Kong films as possible over the course of November and December. And a lot of the films in this pile or on the list of films I'm targeting to watch. So let me know in the comments if there's any particular release in here you really want me to get to or any other film that you want me to watch during that period. Champions. Yoon Bu. This is another movie I've never seen. Um, F.J. DeSanto has been telling me to see this movie for years. And uh, and then I finally got wind of the fact that Eureka was releasing it. And I was like, I should wait for the Eureka release. But then Perry Fan 49, um, who is also known as HK USA uh, Reviews and Interviews, um, who has two great YouTube channels and is a huge f uh, friend to this channel and a great supporter and aficionado of Hong Kong film, he sent me the Hong Kong Blu ray. So now I have two Blu rays to watch of this movie. But here's the Eureka one. Um, and I love the 1980s uh, Hong Kong like hand-drawn poster art. It's like some of my favorite stuff ever, especially for the comedies and stuff like that, like the old school like Winners and Sinners posters and stuff like that. I love this shit. So I'm really happy they decided to put that on there as the reversible artwork. And there's even some trading cards in here. So there's that. And then you get these two. This is super cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so... Yeah, I'm really excited for that movie. And uh, I got to check out the commentary with Frank and, uh, excuse me, Frank and FJ. And then there's also an uh, Arna and uh, Mike Leader on there. Okay, so this is not a Hong Kong movie by any stretch of the imagination. 
They put out Laurel and Hardy, The Silent Years, 1927. There's a, also, they've announced for 2025, they're putting out Laurel and Hardy, The Silent Years, 1928. So even though this has nothing to do with Hong Kong cinema, it's a Eureka release, and I would just thought I would show it off here. Um, this is 1921 until 1927 is the date on the back here, and it's 315 minutes. So what is that, like five-ish hours? Um, and so uh, I've talked about this maybe briefly on the channel before, but... Um, my dad is a huge fan of like old Hollywood comedy and specific, like a specific type of old Hollywood comedy, right? So when we first got a VCR, when I was a kid, my dad would rent the stuff that he loved when he was a kid and we would watch it together, me and my brother and my dad. And so we watched like all the Marx Brothers movies, Laurel and Hardy, Abbott and Costello, Three Stooges, like that stuff, right? And then when I got into to high school, I became really close with my grandmother. She loved um like the kind of screwball Cary Grant style comedy so I watched a ton of that stuff with her you know so like Philadelphia Story, Arsenic and Old Lace, Bringing Up Baby, um like uh, His Girl Friday like all those types of movies right so I, I was really excited when they announced this because I, I honestly don't know if I've seen any of their silent stuff maybe I have maybe I haven't like if it was ever released on VHS um so but my, my dad loves that stuff and uh like he loves WC Fields too and like Mae West and he'll like send me clips on Instagram that he finds of like their scenes or like you know scenes on youtube and stuff like that but um i'm just really excited to check that out for nostalgic reasons because i watched a lot of that stuff when i was a kid um man called tiger jimmy wang Yu. i'm such a huge fan of jimmy wang Yu these days um you know uh chinese boxer was released and then um the one-armed boxer and then we had beach of the war gods and I've just become a really big Jimmy Wang Yu fan and I've never seen this film. I am really excited to see this film. And that's all, I mean, that's all there is to say about it. Uh, if you want me to target watching this one sometime soon, do let me know in the comments. Uh, the more comments I get for a specific movie, the more likely I am to drift towards that movie and watch it and review it for the channel. So this next one is a Japanese movie, but I really want to watch it. I just haven't made the time for myself yet. Um, and so I'm just going to show it off to you here, and then hopefully I will eventually watch it and review it. It's called Message from Space, and it looks like this, like, just batshit insane, like, post-Star Wars. It came out in 1978, so literally a year after Star Wars, right? So I don't think that's a coincidence. And it was directed by Kinji um, Fukasaku, who directed Battle Royale, but he also, I believe, directed, didn't he direct Samurai Reincarnation, which was just batshit insane, and which was a movie I really, really liked. Um, and... Uh, he didn't do Battles Without Honor and Humanity, did he? Battle Royale is the only thing that's listed on the back here. And I have to say, I'm not like insanely familiar with his career, even though I recognize his name when I see it. But um, yeah, I know this movie just sounds kind of nuts. It's like a nutso Japanese sci-fi, like Star Wars exploitation type of film. So I'm just, I, you know, I really want to see that. And I'm excited about that. And so here's the last release. So I reviewed half of this release. What does that mean? So it's The Swordsman of All Swordsmen, which is a Joseph Coe film from 1968. As a bonus feature this has the mystery of chess boxing which i think is probably the more famous film uh which you can see right here so i reviewed the mystery of chess boxing and that is up in patreon now that won a recent poll of our patrons of what they wanted to see me review um and so i i just posted that in patreon i yesterday or this morning i can't honestly remember when but it was very recent so that'll be up on youtube within like probably the next month or two um but uh, I, I haven't watched Swordsman of All Swordsmen yet, but I really do. I'm really interested in seeing that. Because 1968, that's very early um, for these types of films. Obviously, like Come Drink With Me was 66. And then One-Armed Swordsman was 67. And then obviously all this, you know, uh, there was like um, Dragon Inn and all these movies sort of blowing up and coming out. But 68 seems like very early. It's like a Wuxia revenge film. Um, and it stars Teen Peng from A Touch of Zen. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm very excited for this film because I loved Mystery of Chess Boxing. I love Seven Grand Masters, which is another Joseph Coe film. Like, I've really liked basically all of the Joseph Coe films I've seen. So I'm excited to see more of his stuff. So um, those are all the Eureka releases that I have picked up recently. And let me show you all the spines so you can just see all the titles together. And like I said, I, I am going to try to watch as many Hong Kong films as possible over the course of of November and December. So if there's anything in this pile you want me to target watching sooner rather than later, or if there's anything at all that you can think of that you love that I have not reviewed that you would be interested in seeing me talk about and review, drop the title in the comments and I'll see what I can do. I aim to please. My name is Will. It's Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. We'll see you next time.